Optifine just updated to Minecraft 1.19.3 and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download it, install it, and start using Optifine in the new version. Now on our website here you will find an in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Optifine. Why am I mentioning this? Well, because one, this is you're going to access the Optifine download link. It's the second link in the description down below by the way. And two, it's very, very in-depth. We're going to go over a lot of this in this video, but not everything. Troubleshooting different issues, going through a lot of the specific features of Optifine. We're going to go through a few of them, but things like shaders and increasing FPS and all that stuff, we're not necessarily going to cover in this video, but will in other videos. Speaking of those other videos, you might want to subscribe to the channel to check those out when they do release very, very soon. But nonetheless, let's get Optifine. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, like I said, and that is going to take you to this in-depth guide. Once you're here, click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Now at the time I'm recording this, Minecraft 1.19.3 Optifine is in preview. Think of it like a beta. In the future, that won't be the case. However, for right now, what you need to do is come under Minecraft 1.19.3 and click preview versions. Then we can download this very top version here by clicking mirror. Now before we do that, if you don't have preview versions under Minecraft 1.19.3, that's okay. It's actually a good thing. It's a great thing because that means it's no longer in beta and that means you would just come under it and click the mirror that's there without clicking preview versions. However, right now we have to click preview versions, come under it and download mirror next to this version. By the way, if your version number is different from mine, that's also a good thing because it means you're getting a more updated version. Now let's just go ahead and that takes us to the official 1.19.3 Optifine download page and once you're here, click the download button to start the download. Now Optifine will download automatically in the bottom left of Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may need to keep it in Chrome or save it in Firefox and that's 100% safe to do so as long as Optifine is somewhere in the file that you're downloading. And as you can see, Optifine is in the title of the file we're downloading so it is completely safe to keep or save it. Now before we continue on, have a mess from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much we host every Minecraft server we have on Apex. Apex Minecraft hosting, and if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own server. Now, at this point, we can get Optifine installed. Doing that, just minimize your browser, and first, I'd recommend moving the Optifine installer file you just downloaded into your desktop or onto your desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in Downloads, and then you have this File Explorer here. Open this up, and then on the left-hand sidebar, scroll down to This PC. Click on This PC, and then click on Downloads. Here is the Optifine file we downloaded. Like I said, drag this to your desktop. It's not going to live there forever, just until we've got Optifine installed. How do you install Optifine? Well, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or I do have Java in my icons don't look like yours. And I want to fix the icons. I want to have Java icons. Well, either way, if you need Java in the Open With menu, or if you need to get icons, you fix it with Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine. It's also required for Minecraft servers. So this is kind of a two for one. You need it for Minecraft mods, but should you want to start a server, you'll have the correct version of Java. Luckily, just like Optifine, in the description down below, you will find an amazing, super in-depth guide on getting Java for Minecraft. This is literally the most in-depth guide on the internet for getting Minecraft or Java for Minecraft. And it goes over everything you need to know all of that stuff, including the video up here at the top. Now, this will allow you to open up Optifine, but sometimes you will have issues. Specifically, your icons may still be broken, or you may have issues with the open with menu. If that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together, making things run smoothly, and basically taking all those jar files and making them work with Java correctly. This is an in-depth guide. It's in the description. and it, I say it's in-depth. It is, but it's only three steps because that's how simple the jar fix is. Nonetheless, we can minimize our browser now and we can get Optifine installed. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. 
That opens up the Optifine installer here, and one of the great things about Optifine is you don't have to click anything. All you've got to do is click install. It's that easy to get Optifine installed, and after a few seconds, sometimes it can take up to 30 because it is downloading something here, you will get the Optifine is successfully installed message. The only reason this won't work is if you've one, never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. For some of you, I know you don't play Minecraft without Optifine. So if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3, go play it, just vanilla, open it up to the main menu. You don't even have to start a world or anything. Just open it up to the main menu from the Minecraft launcher, close out of it, reopen up the Optifine installer, and you'll be good to go. The other reason is if one, Minecraft, or two, the Minecraft launcher is open. If either of those is the case, close out of them, and then reopen the Optifine installer and click that install button. Nevertheless, once you have Optifine successfully installed here, you can click OK, it will close out of that, and you can delete Optifine from your desktop. Like I said, just needed it there temporarily. Now let's go ahead, open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, you should have an Optifine profile that was created automatically. It should just be there, and it should just be ready to go. If you don't, of course, this is what we do here. We teach you how to fix the problems you may have. And so while we do have the Optifine installer or launcher here, right, the Optifine profile, Optifine, we can see it's the correct version under that 1.19.3-Optifine. If you don't see it here automatically, you can click this arrow and it might be in this list. But if you don't have this, you don't have Optifine or you don't have the correct version of Optifine, click on installations at the top. First, make sure modded is selected. As you can see, I turned off modded and when I did, Optifine disappears. We click mod it again, Optifine reappears. Bada bing, bada boom. But if you still don't have Optifine, right, or you don't have the correct version of Optifine, click on new installation. Now I'm gonna name this Optifine 1.19.3 guide because that's what we're doing here. And then the most important part of this is the version, right? You can name it whatever you want, but the version must be release 1.19.3-Optifine. Now for me, this is right up at the top, and that's great. It might be for you too, but if it's not, don't be afraid to scroll down. I have seen this be in a few weird places. One being the very, very bottom, right? The second being kind of after the beta Minecraft versions here, somewhere around release 1.0 of Minecraft there. And then I've also seen it just randomly in the middle. I don't know why it does that. Occasionally it will, so feel free to scroll through. Luckily it is longer than most other versions, which makes it easier to spot. Nevertheless, go ahead and select the release 1.19.3-Optifine. I'm also going to change my resolution. You don't need to. I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game. Nevertheless, though, we can now click create in the bottom right and go ahead and click play on either the Optifine profile that was there or if you needed to create one, that one. You will get this pop-up menu. All this is saying is that you're playing modded Minecraft. Go ahead and click play. And if you do check that little box, it means you won't have to click go through that process and click play twice every time you play Minecraft. However, I don't do that so I can teach you all better. Always having that box pop up is better than not, and people being freaked out when it pops up for them. So, nonetheless, we're just going to sit here, wait until this opens up, and we'll see you after the jump cut to show you Optifine's installed and check out a few of the features. And in Minecraft, you wouldn't know Optifine's installed from the main menu. But if we go ahead and click on Options, then we click on Video Settings. And this is where Optifine's magic happens. You can see all of the amazing stuff that Optifine has here. And most importantly, you can go through and change these settings. Now, unfortunately, if I was to do this, it's a dedicated about 15 minutes of going through every single setting and setting it up correctly for your specific device, talking about what everything does and all of that. And luckily, if you want that video, be sure to subscribe. It's also probably linked in the description down below if it's already out and maybe even at the eye at the top of your screen. But nevertheless, go check that out. As far as shaders go, well, they're actually here. Now, sometimes when Optifine is in preview, beta versions, they don't work correctly, but let's go ahead and see. So we've got shaders already, already selected. If you don't, you come to this menu, you can install a shaders pack and click on it here. However, if you wanna know how to install these shaders packs, be sure to check out our dedicated video on that. Again, it's probably in the description and at the eye at the top of your screen. But nevertheless, let's go ahead, join into a world here and show you that shaders is working. But at this point, you know how to get Optifine. Should you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to join our support discord for any specific help. We are there to help you out. The community over there is amazing at helping you find the solutions. I'm also in and out of there quite often helping people out. So go check that out in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash discord. But as you can see, shaders is actually up and running, which is amazing for a beta release of Optifine. And I'm not even seeing any weird textures or anything. They seem to be going pretty smooth. Nevertheless, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, check out one of the awesome videos on your screen right now. YouTube thinks you'll like them, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.